Welcome to your daily dose of SAP Analytics Cloud. This time we will take a look how we can create a model based on a spreadsheet and what options we have. So we're in SAP Analytics Cloud, but before we start creating the model, let's take a look at the spreadsheet. So we do have the order ID, order dates. We have things like the customer ID and name. We have geo information like country, region, and states. We also have information around the product, such as product ID, categories, product name. And we have a set of measures, such as the revenue, the cost, the quantity, the discount, and we have the order priority. So let's go into SAP Analytics Cloud and start building the model. So the first thing we do is go to create the model. We use the option to import a file. So then we go to import and we're being presented with the information from the spreadsheet. So it shows us the draft data. It's uploading it still and then we can choose it and actually start configuring our model. So here we are. And the first thing we're going to check is if we have any data quality problems. Doesn't seem so. So we can move ahead. We're going to remove actually the column for the row ID. We don't need it. Uh, we start with the order ID, order date, and the ship date. So the order ID is configured as a dimension, which is right. The order date is configured as month, day, and year. So it recognized it correct. And then we're going to go through the other items to check if we have them configured correct. On the customer, we have the customer ID and we have the customer name. So we want to make sure that we configure these things as an attribute. So we take the customer ID as dimension and then we adding the description, in our case, the customer name. So we configure the customer name as the description for the customer ID, and then we'll take a look at the different dimensions. We have the option to use generic dimensions, customer ID, country ID, and so on. We have dates, which are dates only, not date and time. We have organization, which you would use, for example, for like regions or office locations or different kind of companies like SAP US and SAP Canada. Then you have accounts. We come to that. This is the dimension where you would organize all your measures. Then we have version, which is used for separating things like actual budget and forecast numbers. And then we have the option time step, which is basically date and time together in a single field. So now let's move on to the other dimensions. Uh, as you can see, we have city, state, region, country, and we also have the product ID was different kind of like attributes. We will come to that. So let's take the product ID. And in this case, we have the product name. And we also have the product category and the SAP category. So we're going to configure the product name as description and then the category and SAP category as attributes for the product ID. And then we can take a look in the next session, how these attributes can be used as part of charts and tables. So we named them properly and now we can configure them. So we add the description first, which is the product name, and then we can start adding the product category and subcategory as dimension attributes as well.
So now we've got the dimensions configured. We're just going to go and actually configure all our measures and set some defaults, things like, you know, the scaling, decimals and so on, which we can already configure here. So for example, our revenue, we're going to configure with two decimals. Uh, the quantity will actually configure with zero decimals and we'll first of all make sure it's configured as a measure. So then the discount we're actually going to configure as a percentage value. We can see it's like a 0 0.2 for example for 20% discount. So this is basically part of the property scale. So we'll first set the decimals and then we go to the scale and configure it as a percentage. And we do similar things for the profit and the shipping cost. And then the last item is the order priority, which we configure as a normal dimension. So now we've got all the items configured except the geo enrichment. So we want to use the country and the state as geographic information so we can use it in form of maps and so on. So we go to the geo enrichment by area name. We have the option to either select a column or fix a country. In our case, we have a column that shows the country. So we choose dimension country. And we also have a dimension for the region, which is in our case, state. So then we go to create, which now means it basically is matching up the geographic information of our data with kind of like what it already knows. And we found a problem. So there's actually, in our case, a state in France, which it didn't find. So it shows in red, this is not correct. This is not the right term that it actually knows. So we have eight rows where we need to fix this problem. So we simply go to state and we're going to replace the value So in our case, the right term is the Lloyd region. So we're going to quickly replace the term with what SAP Analytics Cloud is knowing already. And then our geo enrichment will continue. So now all the data quality problems have been resolved and we can actually save our model. So there has been one problem being identified. Uh, we can take care of that afterwards. For now, we will actually create the model so we're going to actually save it into the folder public. We're going to quickly rename it. And then you can also see where this one row actually where you can download the information and, you know, we can find the details. So in this case, the model is being created. And here you can see actually it shows you that there has been one row being rejected and that if you would like, you can actually download the items. So it shows also on the right hand side, we have 18,909 rows implemented. And as you can see, we have one row rejected, which we could download. So let's go to the model overview. So you can see all the dimension names. All of them have a technical name as well as a description. We see how many unique members we have. For example, in our case, product also has attributes. So we can select it. And then if you scroll down, we can see our two attributes that we've modeled, the product category and the product subcategory. 
Now, one of the items that I like to do is you can see we have a dimension called account, which contains all our measures. So one of the items I like to do is actually to rename the dimension account simply into measures. It is more common for the people coming from the BI area to simply use the term measures for this. So this concludes our session. We actually created the model that we can now use to build a story.